those were the days when you didn't have the east prashanti south prashanti and all these blocks there used to be some small uh, houses that swami had permitted people to build around the mandir so in one particular bricked hut which was there there was this elderly lady and she used to cook she had a you know a, a primitive stove which they used to have firewood and charcoal so when she was cooking there was a lot of smoke she had latched the hut from inside the smoke became too much she had inhaled all of that and uh, she fell unconscious and nobody was around around 10 o'clock in the morning they realized that this lady had not come out for a long time so they go and knock at the door no, no response so she they break open the door and they go inside they find this lady is fallen unconscious they rush her to the general hospital which was there by then and uh, swami is duly informed the moment swami got to know swami himself went to the general hospital inquired about her well being and swami being swami he comes back and he calls all the residents of prashantinilayam at that point in time and he tells them see isn't it your duty to inquire about the well being of the neighbors how can you not be concerned about the people who are there around you you know it should be your duty that every morning go and knock at their door ask them whether they're doing well ensure that they're all keeping well because there were a lot of elderly people around so swami gave this instruction and whether or not others followed it apparently others also followed it but mother ishrama took it to her heart she made it her morning duty that every morning she would wake up and go from room to room and ask them if they're all fine and she was doing this for a long time and one day she was it was probably in the evening time it had become a little dark when she was walking she trips over a pile of bricks uh, probably it is the, it is the place where right now you see the post box as you enter kulant hall right that was the place she trips and she falls so people uh, who see her falling they come and they immediately take her to one of the quarters which is nearby and uh, she is groaning in pain and she's saying swami 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 she's holding her feet they feared the uh, you know worse they thought she might be she must have sustained a fracture they were all very worried for her and immediately they send word for swami so swami comes with professor kasturi and raja reddy garu and very casually swami walks in and swami says why are you roaming around like this he asks madhai shrama why can't you be in one place going from one room to the other see madhai shrama is groaning in pain she doesn't look at swami and say swami cure me swami do something for my pain she is only saying swami 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 and then she looks at swami and she says swami meeru devudu you are god you can be in one place and take care of everybody everywhere but we cannot do that if we have to find out the well being of somebody we have to go to them and the people who are there who witnessed the scene they say swami's face lit up when she said this 